We got the New York Jets traveling to the Denver Broncos. After last week's win, the Jets are out of the prime position for the 2018 draft, while at the same time, they're barely out of reach in that AFC wildcard race. But analyzing the season, the Jets are terrible on the road. The only road win for the Green Gang against it was against the uh, winless Cleveland Browns and was only by a margin of three points. I think we can expect the Jets to have some issues facing this Denver defense, which has quietly been at the top of the ranks despite a terrible offense. Um, Denver's on an eight-game losing streak, and the franchise history worse is 11 games, which happened between 63 and 64 a season. Uh, the Jets and Broncos are surprisingly identical in terms of offense, which the Jets being 18th in rushing, Denver 17th. The Jets passing is 18th in the league, while Denver is 19th. The big difference here is, though, the Denver is hosting the fifth overall defense in terms of yards allowed, while the Jets are 23rd. I think the Broncos can make a few key turnovers and stop the bleeding from their agonizing losing streak. Nothing pretty, but hey, win's a win, right? I got the Broncos taking this one 20 to 18. Sim, I, I tell you this. We don't rehearse this. We don't rehearse, y'all. We, we don't. And the, 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 we predicted, Sim, last week the New York Jets was going to beat the, the, the Kansas City Chiefs. That we did. Hey, hey, Jets fans, show us some love. We said last week y'all was going to win, and y'all won. Now this week's a whole new week now, Jets fans. And, hey, listen. Right, we had the, the just hasn't hasn't been good on the road. Now, you know, they're not supposed to be that good on the road at all. Why? Because you have a bunch of nobodies on the offense. Defense is pretty good. Part of the just this season, I'm very proud. You know, and I, and I know they're gonna be better next year, even better with the draft and, and a whole new off season of moves. But you know what, Shim? Josh McCown, um, and, and again, he, he needs an apology letter from, from NFL fans, from um, players, current players, who question him being the quarterback this year because of another quarterback. And um, Kaepernick, no disrespect, he has played pretty, some pretty damn good football. And he, Robbie Anderson is a wide receiver that – I think was coming on late, but nothing special. He's playing pretty good. Jermaine Curse, my God, he's a better wide receiver with the Jets than he was with Seattle Seahawks. The only thing with the Seattle Seahawks is the acrobatic catch. One catch, oh, my God, goal line, they win the game. So, you know, but you're going to Denver now. I keep to leave Simmons out there. You know, it's the, the Broncos are loaded on defense. They, they've been on a slump. But you, they're not playing an offense like the Philadelphia Eagles where it's going to be some problems. Um, we don't even know what's the rhetoric with Bilal Powell if, if he's playing this game or not, Shim. That's that's huge if he misses this game. He's their best running back. Matt Forte, older, um, older guy. So, so decent, not effective, but I, I think Denver has too much. Von Miller will be chasing – McCown all day long. I had the Denver Broncos winning this game 24 to 17 at home. 